All right. Anyway, cool. Oh. We're back. Uh, all right. Where the hell were we? Um, uh, I would go with whichever one is the furthest dated. So, yeah, the one for so, November 11th. Jeez, is it really no, good? No, December no, 23rd. December 23rd. December 23rd. 23rd. Great. We can, we can math, we swear. All right. Cool. Right. If I recall correctly from last time, um, we were seriously considering meeting with Lorem um, because mm -hmm. we suspect he's going to die soon and might actually have useful information. Yes. yes. Um, that sounds plausible. Otherwise, um, we don't, we're not going to order some lunch or meet with Remy because uh, we're not going down a Dean's route or Remy's route. I don't know what listen to your records means. Oh, it's uh, your records that you bought. The, oh. You remember we bought that sick music, yo? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's not do that because we did like way too much of that in the last episode. Yeah, right. let's meet with Lorem. Pretty sure listening to right. records is not a productive use of time. Tim, do you remember how Lorem's voice goes? No. Good. <laughs> Wait, was I voicing Lorem? Yes, you absolutely were. Oh, okay. He he was he was super eager to be. We could we could pause and go and go and go find it so we uh, nah. could find the episode. Well, look, I don't think we care about consistency that much. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll it, we'll do it. Fine. Yep. I went to the bar Lorem had suggested as our meeting place. When I looked around, I saw Bryce sitting at a table talking to someone I couldn't see. I lingered on him for a second, but soon spotted Lorem in the corner of my eye. <clears throat> there you are! Hey, Lorem. It's good to see you. I thought you might not show up. Uh, am I late? Just thinks that because last time around... Not at all! I got... What? I did totally ignore him <laughs> last time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! I'd like to meet you! Uh, maybe... And then he's gone. Possibly. Senpai noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's blue. He's so anime. He is blue, yes. Just he's like, very blue. Just, is this the equivalent of blue hair? Yeah, this is Taryn. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Oh my god. Anyway, carry on. Not at all. I got here early. I'm kind of surprised you wanted to meet me here. Don't take this the wrong way, but... Are you even old enough to drink? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, I see. He's so earnest. I can assure you I'm a fully grown adult. My species doesn't get much bigger than this. Speaking of which, are you fully grown yet? How big do humans usually get? Do you stack comparatively speaking? <laughs> what? <laughs> like on top of each other? No, how big? How do you stack up? Oh, okay, gotcha. Comparatively speaking, but also... Oh, would you mind if I take some notes? Oh my god. You know, <laughs> if, if you want to tell him how humans stack on top of each other, I'm sure he'd be interested. The answer is poor. Oh, you're all about human culture. <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later. Three hours later. Uh, what? Sorry, was I supposed to be talking? Or answering any questions? <laughs> like, I just imagine just going on like a three hour, just spew of questions and never stopping to actually get answers to any of them. Before we get to that, you haven't even told me yet what exactly all this is for. Are you sure you're not a reporter? If I was, Sebastian would have let me meet you in the first place. And I thought the uniform was just a clever disguise. It's real, though. Sebastian knows I work for the local post office. Excuse me, but this still doesn't really tell me anything about why I'm here. You're a postman who wants to interview me for what, exactly? Sorry, I guess I got a bit ahead of myself here. Maybe a full introduction is in order, and after that, you can still decide whether you still want to go through with this or not. Uh, sure. I already <laughs> regret my life choices. <laughs> I already I, regret I have, all my decisions. I have deep regrets. Uh, Look, we're not talking about ice cream, okay? <laughs> this is not like forward in the world. Yet. Oh, God. I recently graduated college with a degree in computing and moved in here with a good friend of mine. Yeah, we met him in a last yeah. in, a, in a previous life. Are you yeah, kidding? after you died, probably. Mm -hmm. This town doesn't exactly offer the best opportunities to put my degree to good use, though. Then why move here in the first place? Living in the city can be very expensive. I can always move later when I get a job there. I've got other plans right now, though. I'm working on a video game. Oh my oh, god, he's a fucking game, game developer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Remy's game. Please tell me. Uh, 
Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I see we're uh, yeah. coming out swinging with Maybe the insults here. Maybe it's the game I was playing. This is what this is all about? A video game? <laughs> we're probably going with this one. You got it! Video games and computers are just starting to catch on in places like this town. Making good content will be very important to give it a good first impression. And humans have always been part of our media. Books, movies, and now games. With you on our side, this could be an amazing opportunity. He wants me as a, for a research study, and here we thought we were going to learn something useful from this shock. Look, shuck. we're finally going to be able to do <laughs> mocap on humans, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well... Uh, oh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. I mean, he is kind of adorable in his, huh. in his reckless enthusiasm. Uh, <laughs> shit. <Huh. laughs> I, I, how, much, how much do we care about, about Lauren's opinion of us? Ooh. I don't know. Do you, do you want to burn bridges? All right, let's let's be nice to him. I don't know. You don't seem so thrilled about doing this anymore. We didn't know what you were doing anymore. Besides, your job must be really stressful, and you probably already got the spotlight all the time. Now to top it off, you got some postman harassing you for an interview. If you want to leave, I get that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, did you want to leave or did you want to stay? We could just GTFO. Yeah, but we didn't have anything else that we were planning to do with the rest I of the day. I mean, if we stay, we can, like, see what, where this random shit leads. Oh, by myself. Don't want to be all by Besides, myself. I hate you all. Anymore. Besides, if we stay, we can help him make it so that his game is more accurate to how humans actually are than that TV show. Which is probably why that villain's right, human fine. looked like Reza. <laughs> it's literally our, our, our logic. Well, I'm already here and I have nothing else to do, so sure, why not? <laughs> yes! Thank you! Huh? At least I won't have to be so careful now. With a reporter, I'd have to worry about things being misinterpreted or being taken out of context. You should still be careful. What you tell me now will influence how your entire species will be represented in my game. The problem is talking really fast and having like word having T speech. It's not really nice to read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry though. I'll treat this delicate matter with the required finesse. How should we do this? Let me think. Why did you want to make this game in the first place? Because I can. I've always wanted to make a video game. I've had this idea for a while. It seems now is the right time to do it. It's almost as if you arrived at the perfect moment. I don't know. Don't you think my visit will overshadow your efforts? People may not be so interested in playing a game about humans anymore if they had a real one show up. Probably be more interested. Oh, totally Good be more point. Interested. But the vast majority won't get to meet you personally anyway. If I say I did and modeled the humans in the game after you, people would flock to it to get a similar experience. Uh, you are totally a mascot, by the way. Uh, 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 I guess you could say so, Mickey Mouse. Damn it. Okay, but why focus on humans? What makes us so important? Why am I asking this question in Chapter 3 of this damn game? Yeah, it's a stupid question. If there's one thing that people here love, it's humans. It doesn't matter if they just see them in the media or believe them as mythical creatures. For me, humans were always real. I just didn't know whether if I ever get the chance to meet one myself. I guess I can cross that one off the bucket list. Now that we're here, I can tell you that no expense will be spared to make our portrayal of humans as accurate as possible. You have no money. You yes. just said you're living here because it's expensive to live in the city. Look, but Kickstarter is a really good venture, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Within the confines of the fact that this is one dragon's personal project, he will spare it no expense that is within his measly budget. <laughs> Don't let your Kickstarters be dreams, okay? <laughs> For good reason. I just love humans. You I say forgot, I didn't even know what you said, by the way. Yeah, uh, what did you what say? What did you say? No one was paying attention. <laughs> you certainly seem passionate enough about this. Uh -huh. 
For good reason. I just love humans. If you say it like that, it actually ends up sounding pretty weird. Besides, what if I turn out to be a horrible person? What would you think about humans then? You'd love all the ones who aren't you. It wouldn't change anything, because I wouldn't base my opinion of an entire species on interactions with a single, single individual. Hashtag just, subtext! But you just said you were going to do that! Then what is your current opinion of us based on? Just the myths we have and the previous portrayals of humans in our media. But I suppose that's why I'm here talking with you right now. I want the truth and all of it! It's gonna take a while. You want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? You can't handle the truth! <laughs> 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 Telling you all of it might not be such a good idea. Oh yeah, I guess that would take a lot more time than we have today. Anyway, what's the actual game about? What do you do? It's a community simulation game. It all starts with the player's character moving into a procedurally generated community, which is inhabited by all kinds of mythical creatures, humans included. We're Shaking making the Sims. <laughs> uh, sounds more Minecrafty. Mythical creatures like humans. Mm hmm. Yep. Not only are the towns you move into unique, but the inhabitants are too. There are a variety of traits that get randomized, both in looks and personality. It's making fucking Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Speaking of which, I need to check the pocket cams. Except he's making human crossing. But yes. If any viewers want my friend ID, let me know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you still trying to get into the mine? <laughs> no. I know you've given up, Tim. <laughs> I have kind of given up on it. <laughs> so we're doing what? personal ads now. What, you just gonna sit there and laugh? <laughs> yes, I can. It's not my line. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Okay. There are many things you can do, but it's very open-ended, and you can live your life there however you want to. Uh... Like fishing. And fishing. <laughs> and fishing. <laughs> and interior and decorating. <laughs> and, and knocking down yeah, down fruits. <laughs> Sounds fruits. interesting. And fishing for fruits that you accidentally knocked into the river. I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> it is. At least I hope others feel the same way about it. What other mythical creatures are there besides humans? Yeah, thank you for asking that. I haven't worked that out yet. God damn it. <laughs> Commit, game. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't worked it out yet. I feel like some of them are going to be stretch goals. <laughs> <laughs> how, how so? The question of the mythical human can be tackled in a variety of ways. There are many different interpretations of what humans are like. For example... In general, the mythical human can be divided into three categories. Firstly, the human as a physical creature. Secondly, the human as a non-physical entity. And thirdly, the human as a spiritual being. I don't really understand the difference between the second and the third. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. <laughs> Let's start with the physical aspects. Sure! Since our, one of our myths tells us that humans who create us eventually turn into a dragon, there's a lot of room for interpretation as to how similar humans actually are to dragons. I can see you don't have wings, but most of us are able to create fire in some way, or at least have a breath weapon. How about you? Only when I eat a lot of garlic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that was Of good. course, I can also move things with my mind. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. No. Do it. Don't, don't gaslight the poor guy. <laughs> Rob, he, might, he might ask for a demonstration. <laughs> do it. I can run two stitch together to make fire. Does that count? <laughs> Not really. Having hands that are dexterous enough to do that is remarkable, though. It is a bit strange, though, because that myth also says that you give that ability to us, yo. Yeah, we did. Wow, that got, a little, that got a little weird for a minute. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe it's meant to be taken literally, meaning that when the ability was given to us, you lost it. Or maybe we never had it in the first place. Humans are known to have created a lot of things out of nothing. After all, we only needed to discover how to create and use fire because we didn't have a natural ability to do so. We have a proverb that sums this up pretty well. What is it? 
Necessity is the mother of invention. So a lack of natural abilities drove innovation forward. What an interesting thought! Here's another thing. You may have many different images of humans, but in the end, only one can be right. It's also possible that what you've been led to believe about humans doesn't actually refer to us at all. Are you implying that you aren't human? No, I'm implying that the myths aren't human. No, I'm just saying that if you really had been in contact with humans before, as your myths imply, they would need to belong to the same species as me, and thus be very similar to myself. If they aren't, then either they weren't humans at all, or have very different origins. So you say that there's a possibility that our humans and your humans might be something different altogether? I suppose you're right in the way that our images of humans are very inconsistent. They certainly can't all be humans in the way they would refer to a single species. The name should probably be reserved for yours. And we haven't even touched on the other two categories of humans. What did you call them again? Non-physical entities and spiritual beings. <laughs> hey, that's my line! <laughs> The difference. Honestly, the definitions is getting a bit muddled here because basically they're kind of the same thing, you know? Like, I, what's the. Meh. Going by conventional belief, a ghost could be a human who has died and thus changed into a different form. We would call this a spiritual human, like Casper. Ooh. An angel, on the other hand, would be classified as a non physical entity. What do you know about angels? Angels basically look like humans with wings. You could say, scaly wings! Roll credits. But <laughs> Their existence in ancient scripts was used to lend some credence to the theories about humans having become dragons. Because of the wings? Exactly. But some of your dragon species don't have wings either. Yes, as I said, once you start delving into that kind of stuff, it all becomes very convoluted. When we met, you also told me something about a four-headed human. <laughs> right. With that, we go into the realm of creatures that just don't make much sense at all. Having four heads just seems unlikely from an evolutionary perspective. That might not really matter if we were talking about a non-physical entity or a spiritual being, though. So, in the end, you have a lot of different ideas whose only connection to each other is that you use the word human to describe them in some way. And they share at least some basic characteristics. You fit those as well, by the way. What are they? You certainly are not a reptile like us, but you don't like it look like a conventional mammal either. Well, screw you. <laughs> we are mammals, though. Yes, but you're so different from other mammals, we know, that ultimately you're quite unique. We don't know any other sentient, sentient mammals. You've yeah, got a point there, I'll give you that. Small rodent things. Mm -hmm. Strangely enough, we have plenty of human-like creatures in our mythologies as well. What a weird coincidence. Oh, do tell! You already mentioned ghosts, but some other ones, including dwarves, giants, fairies, and blemies? The freak is a blemmy? I don't know. What? <laughs> Alright, time for Wikipedia! <laughs> oh, blemmies? The blemmies were a nomadic Beja tribal kingdom that existed from at least 600 BC to they the 3rd century. They have no heads! <laughs> the blemmies have no heads? <laughs> they also became fictionalized as a legendary race of headless monsters who had eyes and mouths on their chest. Huh. Ah, oh. uh, yes, a cephaly. That's what I've heard of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so now we've gone through the Wikipedia dive. <laughs> I think I've heard of most of those before, but what's a Blemmies? Essentially, a Blemmies is a human without a head. We got ahead of ourselves. A uh, human but, um, without a head? God damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> 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 Guess we're just ahead of the pack. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically the same pun I made. 
There's how many headphones do you expect us to have from one situation? There's only one. There's one head pun. <laughs> That's it. That's all there is. Good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I Tim's, can't. Tim, it's your line. No, I can't. <laughs> a human without a head. How does that work? How do they eat? Instead of a head, they just have all of their facial features on their chest. That's a rather weird mental image. There are also a lot of half-creatures that share some characteristics with humans and other animals. Right. Like merhumans? Oh! Oh god! Yeah. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! <laughs> <laughs> you okay, yeah, I said like mermaids, and <laughs> you said like merhumans. I didn't see it coming, but I did. First thing that came to my mind was sphinxes. First thing that came to my mind was centaurs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's centaurs. also mer. There's also hor horse, horse, horsums. Horsums. How, how do you combine horse and human? Badly, apparently. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mer humans. Yeah. Mer humans. Like sure, mer humans. Bronies. No, mer humans and mer humans. <laughs> uh, lastly, there are creatures that are said to be able to shape shift into human form, Kids like werewolves, eggs. like dragons, like dragons. Strangely enough, some of our dragon myths said they can shape shift into humans. Or that certain countries' royalty are descended from dragons. That would imply that they are genetically compatible with humans. Go yes. Baby. yes. So many people want to fuck dragons you don't even know. <laughs> like the people it's, playing it's, this game. This is oh, God. <laughs> Let's have sex and see if we're right. <laughs> Look, that's all on you. Hashtag, <laughs> will it be an egg or will it be a live birth? <laughs> Depends on which one's the mom. The problem with that is that Lorem is male, and we are cannot specify a gender, so it's not clear if a <laughs> we've got the required female. Apparently, sounds rather out sounds rather outlandish if you ask me. We certainly can't shapeshift like that. Are you sure? <laughs> Have you ever really tried? Dude, Have you ever yeah, tried? Right? Your only knowledge of us is from mythology. <laughs> 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 to be fair, I've never tried. Hang on. <laughs> Kame -hame. Did it work? I don't think nope. so. Nope. Still a dragon. Well, everything is ruined forever. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh my God! He looks so legitimately sad oh. about that. He's not <laughs> angry. He's just sad. So he was, wait, he was trying to turn. I, I was looking at pictures of my sister in the car. He was trying God to turn himself it. into a human. Yeah. He was trying yes. to shape shift. He didn't say what he was trying to shape shift to. Presumably but, a human. But apparently, for a moment there, he actually believed that because we said the right. in our midst, he could do it. Let me channel the right amount of disappoint here. Aww. Anyway, how can we know so much about myths? All part of being an ambassador. Not only did I learn about dragon myths in order to compare them to what you're like, but I also studied myths about creatures that are similar to humans so I could find out how similar they were to yours. Well, you're doing an excellent job so far, and it's bound to help me a lot with my game as well. You're gonna put all of that into the game? Let's just say it gives me some excellent material to work with. I thought you wanted to give an accurate portrayal of humans, not just collect myths. He wants to do both. One species will certainly be modeled after you, but that doesn't mean we can't introduce some variety with the others. Like elves. People would love it if we also bring some of the most unusual myths to life. I see. But since we also want each of the normal human characters to be unique, I'd like to know how much variety there really is within your species. So much. I've seen Reza before. So comparing him to you already gives me a bit of an idea. But how far do these differences go exactly? When we arrived here, you asked me if I was old enough to drink. That leads me to believe that your average human must be a lot taller. That's true. You could say Reza would be about average for an adult. Not that it would be impossible to get a good deal bigger than him, or even smaller than you, but those cases are rather rare and usually the result of medical conditions. I see, I see. 
What about colors? Are there any humans who are blue like me? Only if they've gone swimming in food color. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or if they're in the blue man group. <laughs> <laughs> there are blue humans. Their name, their, 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 their name is Yandu. No, 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 no. There are blue humans. They, they live yeah. in, they're in that one community in, what's it called? It's like Mary's Orchard or something. I'm not sure I believe you. Well, there's a guy who tattooed his entire body blue with yeah. puzzle pieces. Uh, mm. Not really. There is a certain spectrum of skin colors that can be lighter or darker, but so far I've seen a lot more variety in the dragons here. We do have quite a number of different eye colors, though. Interesting. As for things that aren't immediately visible, we also have different blood types, but I assume you know about that. You certainly have those as well. I, why? Why would you? Why would you even bring up blood types? What relevance could that have to his game? It does not influence <laughs> how the characters behave. <laughs> Some people even believe your blood type influences your personality, like, Alex. Like all of Japan. <laughs> Are we Japanese? Are they Japanese? I mean, maybe. Where was where, this game made? Who knows? <laughs> that, on the other hand, is news to me. Anything else you want to know? Phew, we've already got so much. I'll think about if and how we can work this all into the game. Have you worked on any other games before? I worked on a few small projects during the course of my studies, and also interned at a studio before. This is on a completely different level before. How so? It's my game, so I'm the one calling the shots here. It's a very different thing than just making a few graphics when you're part of a bigger team, for sure. I see. How long exactly have you been working on this? Phew. It must be several months now. I've got everything planned out, and a lot of the groundwork has already been done. The most difficult things are the characters themselves, and to make sure all the details are accurate. Of course. Have you shown the game to other people yet? Sure! Feedback is a very important part of the development process, so I regularly gather ideas and opinions from others. I even made a website to do this. And what do they say? All kinds of things, really. Sometimes it's hard to decide which ones have a good point and which can be disregarded. Overall, it seems there are many people who are looking forward to play my game, though. How many are we talking about? I don't know exactly. The count on my website only tracks the number of visits, so I don't actually know how many different people there are. What if it doesn't work out? What do you mean? Well, you're investing a certain amount of time and money into making this game. Ideally, you would make back your investment and hopefully get some profit on top of that. If the goal is to make money, sure. However, I just want to try my hand at doing something like this. If some people are going to enjoy the end result, that's great! Don't forget that I'll also have made something I can put on my resume. At the very least, it'll have been a good learning experience. With that attitude, I suppose you don't really have anything to lose. Unless you lose your memory. <laughs> I can always look for another job. Maybe I'll end up working at a game studio. But I think once I've started doing something like that, I might not get this opportunity again. So it's now or never, huh? In a nutshell, yeah. And that all works out with your career job? Sure! I can support myself this way, and not really under any pressure, since I don't have any deadlines to keep. Seems like you know what you're doing. I'd like to think so! What kind of tools are you using to make it? If I consider what some of your species look like, I'm having a hard time imagining how the bigger ones could program a game. They just have big keyboards. While we do have devices tailored to each individual species, I can't deny that my dexterous hands make it a lot easier compared to some of the others. One downside is I have to get my nails short, or else using the keyboard gets a bit cumbersome. I'd imagine you'd have to be careful with those while working as a courier anyway. You're right about that. One wrong move and you've suddenly shredded the letter you were just going to hand to someone. Sounds unpleasant. <laughs> Luckily, that kind of thing doesn't really happen to me anymore. Not only because of the shorter nails, but once you've worked there for a while, you just learn to be more careful. It's a bit sad not to have them as a natural letter opener anymore, though. And it's just not for me. 
Some people ask me to open their letters for them, since doing that on our own can be difficult for some of the less dexterous and old ones. Have you been working as a courier for long? I just got this job a few months ago, but I had a part-time summer job at the post office when I was growing up. My species is perfectly suited for the job, so they were glad to have me on board. I can see why. Of course! Being able to fly is a big plus. My size means I can't deliver any big packages, but I often get assigned urgent letters that have to be delivered as soon as possible. Huh, it's getting late. Maybe we should leave it at that for today. Yeah, I should probably head back to my apartment before it gets too dark. I got more than enough material to work with. Thanks a lot. Don't worry about it. I'll just consider it a public service. Honestly, I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful for the opportunity, especially after nearly getting denied by Sebastian when I met you. Just make the best of it. I certainly will. I really have to get going now, so maybe I'll see you some other time. Sure. Have a good night. Take care. Hey, did I mention I have two days left until retirement? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no uh, loss. I'm... Wait. Oh. What? Pash what? What's happening? What? What? What was that? I don't know. That was... I don't know. Not dead. Wait. Not dead. Everything is different this time. Yeah.